Hello there. As you can see from my garb, I am just finished my morning workout in front of my light box. It is past daylight savings time, which for me means that I have to really focus on getting my light therapy every day, especially in the morning. I am really happy I'm going to be talking this evening to a group of students at American University here in Washington and really telling them how seasonal affective disorder and winter blues is a real hazard, especially for students. You know, you start studying, it's the end of summer, everything's looking good, uh, your schedule isn't too packed, and then gradually things accumulate. Both the work gets busier and you are finding yourself maybe less energetic, less enthusiastic, less inclined to study, and the work piles up. What then often happens for some people, maybe two, three out of 20, who are susceptible to the winter blues, you find yourself sluggish. It's difficult waking up in the morning, you're tired, you wanna eat more, especially sweets and starches, and don't socialize as much because you're just too tired. You're too tired to get stuff done. And that's when things begin to pile up, the work becomes too heavy, it becomes unmanageable, you don't want to get together with friends and family, and the symptoms of SAD kick in in earnest, including depression. Good news, there's so much you can do about it, and that's what I want to tell the students tonight, and that's what I want to tell all of you. Uh, remember to bring more light into your homes. Get more light, especially in the morning. This can come in the form of regular lamps or light fixtures. Uh, special devices that have been constructed based on work that has found that uh, large amounts of light can actually reverse all the symptoms of SAD. Get out and about, exercise, maybe go out walking on a bright winter day or work out in front of a light box. Get together with friends, socialize. If you withdraw and seclude yourself, evidence shows that makes you feel worse. And Physical exercise, of course, is always a good antidepressant. So I think the important thing is to recognize the problem early, get help when you need it, and it doesn't have to all happen through you. It doesn't all have to be self-help. There are professionals out there. Medicines can help. Other things can help. Just be aware that it's a real thing. It's not just a makeup thing because some people don't have any problems at all, and, you know, that's fantastic but it's the way we all are different. We all are, so we're diverse, which is a good thing. But, uh, you know, if you're one of those people who have a great time in the winter, maybe you've got a friend or family member who can take your advice and get some help and be supportive um, about this problem, because it's very real, even though it doesn't show itself in any clear cut way, it's real, it can be serious, most important, it's really reversible. So. Um, I am going to be talking tonight. We're going to be uh, putting that on the web. And uh, don't hesitate to come visit me at my website, normanrosenthal.com. I'm putting a blog up about this. Thanks. Thanks for listening. Have a great winter. Bye-bye.